the best trial was the blastocyst euploid selective transfer trial. And this was um, a trial that we designed to look at whether we could apply select CCS, comprehensive chromosome screening, to improve single embryo transfer. So while single embryo transfer makes a lot of sense to transfer one embryo and have one baby, in reality, all of the previous studies that were done showed lower pregnancy rates when you transferred one embryo compared to transferring two. And a lot of patients are reluctant to do anything that, that might lower their chance of a healthy delivery. So in this trial, what we were comparing was transferring one embryo that had been tested and was genetically normal with the traditional standard of transferring two embryos. So our goal was to see if by, by doing the genetic testing and improving the way we select the embryo, we could then level the playing field and end up with the same delivery rates. And in fact, the two groups both had excellent delivery rates, over 60% on the first transfer, and even higher if you look you know, cumulatively with frozen embryo transfers. And it was similar. There was no difference between the two groups, except that the group that had the single normal embryo transferred had all singletons. Um, a much higher chance of having a term normal birth weight delivery, and the group that had two embryos transferred had nearly a 50% risk of twins. And with that came a significantly higher risk of having a preterm delivery or having their baby or babies spend some time in the NICU after delivery. So now we're able to take this data from this randomized trial and tell our patients that you no longer have to sacrifice pregnancy rates if you want to have the safer outcomes of single embryo transfer. If you combine it with CCS, you can get the same delivery rate but have a safer pregnancy and a safer delivery for your newborn. You know, in our field, there's a perception that patients don't want single embryo transfer, that they want to transfer more embryos, they want to have twins. But actually, when we were doing the best, tr the best trial, and patients had the opportunity or were randomized to the two groups to have a single embryo transfer with CCS or transfer two embryos without CCS, by far the patients were hoping that they were randomized in the single embryo transfer group because they came to realize that CCS works and it's a safer, more effective way to get to their pregnancy. They also knew that any embryos they would have frozen, they would have that testing result and they would know with confidence how many normal embryos they have with real reproductive potential. So now we have patients that, that actually want single embryo transfer, that want safer pregnancies and deliveries, and they want to know that the, any embryos they have frozen are normal so that when they come back in a couple of years, they can also safely thaw one embryo at a time and not, you know, not be at risk of twins, which have more obstetrical risks.